Welcome back aliens, my name is Navin Reddy and in this video we'll try to answer the question which is which Java version to learn. The problem is you know we nowadays we have so many languages to choose from so we have Java, Python, C Sharp, uh, C, C++ so it's always a confusion that which one to choose and then that's a big debate some people prefer Java some people say Python. Now let's say you know now you want to learn Java and that's where again we have a second problem which version to go for. So initial days, you know, when Java was pretty new, so we got, in fact, easy for us to decide which version to go for, of course, the latest, latest one. Uh, so we got Java 5 and then after a few years, we got Java 6. After a few years, we got Java 7 and then after 3 to 4 years, we got Java 8. So we were having enough amount of time to choose or to learn that technology. But now things are changing, right? So Oracle says now you will not get Java updates in two or three years. You will get Java updates in every six months. So it's something like if you are learning Java now with the latest version, let's say Java 13 is on the way. So if you learn Java 13 and after six months, you'll be having Java 14. So you have to upgrade yourself to the new version. And you'll be saying that's okay. You have to upgrade few new features in every version, right? But what about the first version from where you will start? Now the current one is Java 12. So let's say if you want to learn Java now, if you go to Google and say, hey, I want to learn Java 12. The problem is you will not find many tutorials which talks about Java 12. But yes, uh, the, the video name would be like what's new in Java 12, the, the, I mean the content as well. And even if you search for articles, it will be something like that. You know, it, it will be new features in Java 12. They will not teach you Java with that Java 12 version. So the only option you have is start with Java 8. So if you go to full courses on Java, so they might use Java 8 in the entire course. So now you'll be thinking why to learn outdated one. What if I say Java 8 is not outdated? So most of the companies, they are still using Java 8. I have seen few companies they are experimenting with Java 9, but again, that's into POC now, but they're still stable with Java 8. So if you want to learn Java now, Java 8 is a good version to start with. So what you can do is you can choose any course. In fact, we have the entire course on Java. So you can choose that. That's a Java 8 version. And then once you know Java 8, then you, you can go for some other videos where, where they talk about uh, new features in Java 9, new features in Java 10, Java 11 and Java 12. And in September, when you get Java 13, so what you can do, you can watch a video which says what's new in Java 13. So that's what you do, right? So learn the base version first, which is Java 8 as of now, and then you can learn all the new versions. But the next question would be, are you missing something when, when you're learning Java 8? Uh, not exactly. See, Java is backward compatible, right? So even if you have a new feature, they do support all the old features. Okay, so when I say old, Java 8 is not that old. So whatever features we have, it's good enough. But yes, in Java 8, Java 9, we got modularity. In Java 10, we got a new VAT variable. And there are so many enhancements is happening on the JVM side. So as a programmer, it's good to know the, those things, but that's okay. You are not directly impacted with that. So syntactically, not a lot of things are changing. But yes, the base, the JVM base is changing. So whenever you get something new, you don't have to worry about that. It's good to know those concepts, but make sure that your syntactical stuff is a bit clear and the features that they provide, you can use them. So learn Java 8 now, and then you can go with the new version. Now, since we are getting new versions every six months, so of course, there will not be huge updates. There will be small updates and you can easily learn them. Now, in fact, we also have a concept of LTS and non-LTS versions. So LTS stands for long time support. So few versions have a long time support from Oracle and few, few of them don't have long term support. So it makes sense to go for the long term support version. So let's say if you know Java 8, you can directly jump to Java 11, which is the long term support. And then after that, you can focus on Java 14, which, is, which will be long term support. Uh, so learn those versions and then the binal versions are okay to know. Uh, but yeah, it's not that difficult to can't learn them, but so focus on that. Focus on Java 8 as of now and then learn Java 9, Java 10, Java 11, Java 12 because they have minor updates. So that's one of the questions which I used to get a lot in my, uh, in my classroom sessions in online chat as well. So now you know which one to learn, which is Java 8. So that's it everyone. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.